Your Toyota BC dealers present BC Outdoor Sport Fishing with your host, Mike Mitchell. Your life is an experience. So I'm getting everything set back up again. He's driving the, he's driving the first thing. And literally 50 feet in front of us, a humpback wheel comes up right in front of the boat. And he goes, Dad! And I look over and I say, it's a humpback, buddy. It's all good. And about two minutes later, let us be one of them. An eagle scoops down, grabs a rockfish out of a kelp bed. Off it goes, and he was hooked. Your Toyota BC dealers present BC Outdoor Sport Fishing with your host, Mike Mitchell. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Toyota dealers of BC, Yamaha, Duncan B. Lodge, Rapala, Lorax, Shockwave Seats, Port Boathouse. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Oh, we got a special show lined up for the guests. Had lots of positive feedback on our previous co competitions. Yeah. And honestly, I can't uh, remember if this is going to be our sixth one or our fifth one, but I think we're pretty even. I'd say I think there's been, well, you might be up one or we might be tied. I'm not sure. I know I'm not up yet. Today's going to be. Today's. Yeah. today's okay. Day. I'm feeling it. Easy, got that? Figure yeah. it out? Yes, All sir. Right. Yes. Now let's talk about the point system now. Okay. Okay, two points for first fish, two points for largest fish, and two points per fish. Okay. Okay. Now, how about this though? That uh -huh. if we lose, if you have a salmon on for over a minute and you lose it, uh -huh. you lose a point. Okay. And we've got to use barbless hooks too, right? That's right. Okay. I'm all right with that. I'm feeling confident. How we're going to help each other with netting? Yep. Legit help though, like not tickling no bellies, not, not stabbing at it, blindfolded and laughing. No. I don't know if I trust you about that. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so let's talk. Let's get a gear picked here first. Then, so let's do. Uh, I'm I'm feeling a little skeptical about that netting thing here. I don't know. Okay, so who gets to pick first? Then? Well, rock paper scissors. Okay. Rock paper scissors on on gear first, and then we'll do it again for that, and then we'll have to do it again for side of the boat. It's important. Well, I'm on the starboard side. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're That's gonna important. drive the boat. Oh, it's my boat. Ready? <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, oh one, two, three. Ah, oh. ah, 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 you go pick. You pick first. All right. Well, soon we'll see. I'll just stick with this. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. That's a custom one. I know. I saw that. Okay. That's good. My pick now. Okay. I am going to go with. And uh, can I choose the same color? No. You can't take the same color. There we go. This is good. This is the Jughead. I'm very similar. <laughs> I see. It's a right. though. Fair enough. That's a flash fly. Fair enough. All right. And I called one out of here right away that I saw earlier. Ah, it says Coho all over it to me. <laughs> Not to me. I'm going to change a hook out. I'm going to put a single on there. Yeah, singles only today. Look at you. Okay. Right there. All right. I know this one works already because I've already used it. So. That's a good, uh, I like the leader on that. Well, I'll fix it. <laughs> lengthen it up a bit. <laughs> okay, I got my four pieces of hardware. Well, it's definitely not the winning combos. Looking for, oh, there it is right there. Kitchen sink. There's the winning set right there, folks. You don't need to worry about his stuff over there. That's the winner. Notice the difference in sizes. I went a little bit smaller stuff. Okay, flashers. Well, you got first pick in that. I think I should. You just can see. All right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Memo. <laughs> okay, good. You picked the wrong one because this is the color you're using yesterday. You really like this. Right from the street. Oh. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, well, that's one, two. So I've just caught two coho. Come on, come on, shop away. <laughs> oh, that's good for chum. Is that the one you buried at the bottom? No, no. Oh, he 
Oops, I'm gonna do a couple micro flashes. I got two spoons. This is brand new. Yeah, what's the name on that one? You're hot on. Hey, don't worry about it. You'll see. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Now, this is the key one right now. <laughs> Figure out who gets. Winner, 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 winner. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to pick to see who gets what side of the boat, right? Okay. Or you want to just give it to me? Are okay, you, you can have port side. No. I'm taking my side of the boat. Which is the port side? Okay, let's go. Ready? Yep. Okay. Are we going to do rock, paper, scissors oh, for which side of the boat? You just concede I can have whatever side I want, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, which side of the boat do you want? I'm just going to take the far side of the boat. That side of the boat? Yep. So I don't have to drive today? You don't drive anyway. Let's get in the boat. Let's get our gear put away. Enough chatter here. Let's go catch some fish. Okay, sir. Oh, he zeroed it out. <laughs> zeroed it out. I'm going to take a guess. 65 and 44. Those are the numbers. Just guessing. Well, it's probably because the cameraman is getting paid by you. And he already told you because I already went and did some radio. How did he tell me? Fishing. How did he tell me? He probably wrote it down and mowed it to you or whispered it. Was that right? 65, 45 is where they've been catching fish this morning. That's why I shut the door on you. I wouldn't let you out. Well, I thought you just wanted to get yourself ready. No, I was radio fishing. Your fish was, the line was just bouncing, by the way. That's fine. It's hardware on there. We can just wait for the fish to pop. I was just up. saying, though, you just had one and missed it. Soon I'll be four points up with the first fish in the boat. As as Mr. Mitchell my, gra my, can, my grandpa taught me to do zigzags when trolling. <laughs> well, it slows down the action right away, though. Yeah. Right? yeah well, he said do zigzags. What's our speed, though? 2.2. 2.2. Yeah, he said. See, I'd like to be around 3.1. For coho? Yeah. There you go. Compromise. 2.78. 2.4 and climbing. 2.3. <laughs> oh well. We'll catch him here, buddy. Not to worry. You just want to move over that way a little bit? Like right over there? <laughs> It's right, right out of the, right out of the, my way of the rod there would be good. Because I'll be a rod block. All right, rod blocker. What did, for? what did I do that for? Come on. Too nice. Too nice? The clock started already, by the way. Don't lose this guy. I know. Don't lose this guy. Just let me know what you'd like me to do. I will. Okay. It's a pink salmon. Oh, I don't need that. That does not count. <laughs> Why not? Oh, look at the size of the thing. I like small, immature fish. Come on. <laughs> All right, whatever. Whatever you gotta do. Oh, that's a loss! But yeah! it wasn't gonna count, though. Doesn't matter. That's, that's, oh, you can't play that. that huh? What do you mean, doesn't count? Well, you just said, oh, that one doesn't count because it's too small. You didn't small. even know what it was yet. It was a coho. How do you know? Because I can see it. You lost it. But it doesn't count, All though, right. even All if right. I kept it. Okay, fair enough. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Close captioning brought to you by the world famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful Rivers Inlet, British Columbia. Oh, yeah. That's that's I said turn the fish. other way. <laughs> that's a fish. 
Hopefully this is your Chinook from yesterday, right? Yeah, it could be. Oh, that's a fish. It's okay, I got the downrigger. Oh, there he is, there he is in the back, no! How long was that? Is that a minute? It's okay, I got the downrigger. Oh, there he is, there he is in the back, no! How long was that? Is that a minute? Oh, look at the streaker coming off of it. Should be going through that right about... We're going through right now. Now. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, it's a big boy, too. No! no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy. That was a good fish. <laughs> there you oh. go, there you go! <laughs> yeah! No <laughs> way! Come on! Still there! <laughs> Let me know if you need help knocking them off. Look at that! Is that a honker? Is that a Chinook? I swear it was a coho, but now it's it's going down like a now it's going down like a Chinook. Is it off? No! Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, oh. we're 0 for 4 to start the day, Michael. Hey, 0 for 4. You can see that oh. fish coming up there. You can see his fish on that sounder. We're just coming up. Look at the arches here. There you go. He's off. He's gone. Are you on, Mike? Not yet. Still there? Gone. Oh, yes. It's there. Come on, let me get one. Well, you went down to my depth. I don't, I know, I didn't look at your clock. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, there's a flasher. Can you grab that net from me, Mike? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's, he's ready. He's right here. Oh, that's a Chinook. Oh, that's a coal. Just kidding. <laughs> that, my friend, would be four points on the board to start. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do you know? Oh, thanks. You know? Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> You see the sportsmanship has just gone right out. First fish, two points. Two plus two. And potentially the largest so far. Okay, well, I'm gonna switch my gear up now, I guess, eh? Part of the rules. I have three takes on this setup right here, though. Yeah. I'd like to use it again, would you mind? Then you gotta lose all your points on that first fish if you wanna use it again. All right, well, I'm gonna go with the new New coyote flasher and a smaller nano jug head. A little bit of scent in the ears. Dab behind the ears. Okay. Good luck, Mr. Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. And away we go. Hey, Mike. While you're, I don't know, I should have told you this while you're setting it, but there's the bait ball between 60 and 120 right off this little shelf here. Fire this stuff. Look at that. Just hugging the shelf right there. How deep are you? Well, I've always been fishing 65, and then I decided, well, I'm going to go 4.7. 
And I turn around and I look at this fish. <laughs> that was good. I'm like, why are you standing so close to me right now? Get away! <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Trying to hold you back, too. <laughs> yeah. Timer's on. You're at 26 seconds. All right. There's the flasher. I want to grab that net, Mike. I grab the net. 49, 50. Want to grab the net, Mike? 60, <laughs> 60 seconds. Come on, he's right there. Oh. oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, oh, they're beautiful. At this rate, oh. it looks like I'll be cleaning the guide's bathroom tonight. Yes. <laughs> it's part of the punishment. Yes. It's okay, I just got a new pressure washer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just stand back and let her go. All right, well, I'll get to this guy. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. To me, it's about priorities. I'm never going to look back and wish I had spent more time in the office. So I look for chances to disconnect, to reconnect with what's important, to remember what life's really all about. So make a splash. You never know where it could take you. Yamaha, conquer water. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. On its way down! <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm excited for Mike, you know, all these years of him. Hey, hey, hey. It's not over yet, Mike. I just put this one down. I know, and I, you put it in the rod holder, I said, ah, it popped, Mike. It's popped off. Onto a fish already. But you're not keeping that little cold, nope. are you? No, but it's cold, though. Oh, it's a pink. That's cool. Do you want to help me release this guy, Mike? I'll still count him. I have to change yeah, it. Yeah, I've got nothing better to do. Change gear again on them. Just put this one down. You didn't even get a chance to get it wet. As soon as you touch that leader, it counts. Then go yeah. and touch it. <laughs> oh, what do we got? We nothing. got another swing and a miss. You know, Mike, they say in hockey, in a Stanley Cup final, the uh, Toughest win is always the fourth win. Right. I'm at my looking for my fourth fish. It could be the toughest one. Right, but then you remember two years ago when we were fishing on the east side of Danny Island. Yep. And I was up three nothing. Yep. You're and then you went bang, bang, bang. Pre and then pre partying. Both, right. And then yep. both of us were then at three three. When I lost and then one. We kept losing. Yes. Fish after That's right. fish after fish. Thinking about it, I think maybe we should go and change it from having a minute on to thirty seconds. Okay. For now on? Yeah. I think that's fair. Is a minute. We should have done that for like the on, I agree. On, that, on your second fish there. That was about you 28 seconds though. You know, the camera doesn't lie. Well, I can edit it too. Something. I can edit that too. So it looks like it was 29 and a half. You're right though. Okay, we'll go 30 anyway, seconds. You want to do 30? Yeah, we'll do 30 now. Oh, there it is! Right there! Oh. God. <laughs> you. Yes! You got the counter on? Oh, 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 <laughs> Oh, I love this. The kitchen sink comes through again. Double black glow flasher, Michael. We don't like, I don't like it when he's up there, up on the surface like this. Stay down, stay down. Start cartwheeling, boy. Yes. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I don't Just like let that. let that flasher dig in the water and then <laughs> pop out like a shotgun. I think this is, a, this fish officially is going to count now. It's past 30 seconds now. Well, it's a good coal, too. You wanna grab that net for me, Mike? Yeah, no, we still got time. Come on now, it's at the boat. 
Whoa, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> that is a really good coho. I don't like it when they jump around like this in the back of the boat, Mike. It's okay. It's all right. Let them jump. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Spirit, coho. Oh, I, got, I tired them out now. I tired them out. Okay. There you go. Grab them, please. Grab him, please. <laughs> it's too far away. Grab him. <laughs> it's too far yeah! away. Yeah! <laughs> For nothing! Oh, yeah. This is a sh poop kicker. Michael. Oh, hello. Hello, a, Dolly, on that a, one. A poop kicker? <laughs> well, I was going to swear. I don't swear on TV, so. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, you didn't even close up that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, how about we do a, a learning with the pros right there? <laughs> Here, let's. I think I pretty much won this thing 12 nothing. You know what? Had I been fishing that side of the boat, like I always fish that side of the boat, I'm just grasping at anything I can right now. I know now, you right? are. I know. Could have been the line color. No, you used yellow yesterday and I used. Okay. Blue. Okay. Definitely was the scent. I had scent on all you four things. You scented up everything. I finally just put scent on. All right. I haven't gotten anything. All right, so. yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, I'll put this guy in the box. Pretty good game. <laughs> Set my Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. See the highest detailed images of fish and structure with active imaging. Share sonar, waypoints, and routes wirelessly between Elite TI2 displays. Elite TI2, new from Lowrance. Sleek new design with easy control fob. The clearest images underwater with uncompromising range. Live mapping from the touchscreen. HDS Live, new from Lowrance. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Now, here's a look at today's tackle and gear. Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you about the gear that we used on today's episode. Well, Okay, we'll talk about the winning gear that we, I used on yeah. today's episode. Correct. All right. Uh, we both used 10 and a half foot Rapala rods. Uh, these classic moochers, uh, light action, medium light action, <coughs> 10 and a half foot, like I said. Um, both had shift reels. I, I, we always usually run one high vis, one knot, right? Just to make sure we can see where they're going. We'd had some double headers in the past where it's nice to see the difference That's where right. the rods are. I said in the past though didn't say today before today so I'll put this here and then we could talk about the other stuff okay <laughs> you're handling this very well I can That's... see you're doing a good job I, I haven't been this graceful when I've lost in the past leader material 30 pound suffix fluorocarbon uh, and we ran a little bit longer leaders on the uh, flash fly and the nano squirt uh, hoochie we ran a little bit shorter ones um, and then a little bit longer on the spoons right uh, the first morning combo was the flash fly and the purple, purple kind of a, a purple uh, UV flasher by Coyote. Mm -hmm. That was a great setup again, as usual. Does did well. Here's the brand. And this is uh, the brand new flasher from Coyote. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't down very long before we had a couple hits on it right away. And uh, paired up again with the Nano uh, Squirt Hoochie, again shorter leader, yep. but a, probably a four foot leader on this one actually today. Did did quite well. Had a little bit of scent. Stuffed in the head there, right? Had an extra. <laughs> and then the uh, Blue Fox Matrix Spoon, right? The hammered silver with the blue. No. And that basically went down off the clip. And as I turned around, you said, oh, you're... You're off. You're off the yeah. clip. It slipped. And it wasn't actually as a fish. That's right. Yeah. I knew it was a fish. I know. I know you did. You were just hoping that it was a well, slip. A slip. Yeah. And then uh, probably my go-to wherever I go. This is a setup that I would probably, if I was only allowed to use one setup, this would be it. Double black glow flasher with the kitchen sink. Went on fire. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but uh, yeah, everything, all four of my winning combos were scented up with anchovy super gel. I'm a firm believer in this stuff. I know. I think maybe I'm starting to Twist your arm and you're, you're, sway you to my side. Yeah, no, I, I didn't put scent on anything. This uh, And it showed. It showed. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't cooperating on your side today, were they? No. 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 But speaking of cooperating, 
I don't want to hold you up. I'm going to head up to the lounge. Well, I've got to tidy up the boat a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll head up to the lounge. You can relax. Grab a snack, have a drink. Yeah. And you got to clean the guide's toilet. <laughs> yes. Because that is the, uh, as with any competition that we've done in the past, a, a Mike, there's always, a, there's always a consequence. That's right. And to the, to the, the person that has not won, I'm not yep. going to say loser. I guess maybe I just did, but did. Uh, I won't disagree or agree. It's, it's good. Yeah. Thanks for having us, Mike. Thank you. It's always great yeah, having you. Yeah, show lots here. of fun. Lots of fun. And thank you folks for joining us on BC Outdoors. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Stay tuned. Mike's going to wash the toilet. I'm going to grab a drink. Hey, uh, hey, Mike. When you're uh, done washing the bathroom there, can you flay up those fish too? Of course. Anything else, Mr. Mitchell? Cheers, buddy. Mmm, Mitchell. <laughs> Go Competition 2018 is mine for the taking. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Toyota Dealers of BC. Rapala, Yamaha, Port Boathouse, Lowrance, Duncan B. Lodge, Shockwave Seats. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is also brought to you by.